My best friend and I were almost stuck overnight hiking in Estes Park, Colorado. Here's the crazy story. Hey guys, welcome to Abby's Corner where I share crazy stories, scary stories, inspiring stories, and God's stories. Go ahead and subscribe. My best friend Chelsea lived in Colorado and I went to go visit her when I was moving out to Hawaii for the first time. So I was shipping my car all the way from Arkansas and it left from Denver. So I had to drive it all the way to Denver and then it literally got put on a large semi truck. They drove it to LA, put it on a ship and shipped it out to the big island of Hawaii. So I drove out to Denver, Colorado to see my best friend Chelsea for, um, it was about a week. So we really wanted to go hiking in Estes Park and that was the first time that we had ever been there before. So we did some research and we wanted to go to a place called Ice Pond. It was Ice Pond Hike. And as you know, if you have been to Estes Park, um, you park in a parking lot and then you get a uh, bus to different hiking spots. So we got a little bit of a late start and we hopped on board this bus. And by the time we parked and got on board this bus, it was maybe one o'clock in the afternoon. So a little bit late to be hiking. And this was also in the summer, so it does get dark a little bit later. Anyways, so we are hiking along and it is so beautiful. We see waterfalls and so we got so many photos and videos and it was really, really beautiful. And if you've been hiking in Colorado, you know that in the summertime, there's flowers out and the birds are chirping. It's really, really beautiful. So anyways, we keep hiking and we're probably hiking for a few hours at this point and we get to this part where it's like a huge waterfall and we notice that to go to Ice Pond, um, we have to climb up this waterfall and it was probably like 40 feet tall and so we had to climb up the rocks on the side of the waterfall. To be honest, that was pretty scary and I got stuck at the top and almost had a total panic attack, but Chelsea, she went ahead of me and she ended up helping me onto the rocks. So I was really nervous, but we made it through. We made it um, up and over the waterfall and then we got to Ice Pond. We took some photos and we were sitting at the beautiful overlook there and we were noticing that there were only two more guys um, around us and we saw the sun setting in the distance and we're like we look at each other and we're like wow we should um probably start to head back because it's like a few hours and the sun is already setting we totally lost track of time so we noticed that those two guys that we um had seen they were by the ice pond taking photos they had already started their trek down the mountain so we thought we should probably head down with them because we don't want to be out here by ourselves. So um, we scale down the waterfall and we're kind of like following them a little bit just because we um, they seemed really nice and we just didn't want to be out there by ourselves. Um, they ended up going ahead of us. They were much faster than us. So they kind of left us behind and the sun is setting. And well, it had already set at this point and we'd been hiking back for maybe another hour and it was starting to get dark. We're by ourselves. We're hiking along the trail in Estes Park. And we start to notice that it's getting harder and harder to see where we are. So we keep going and we thought we should probably start to run at this point because if we keep on this path for another like, you know, two hours, um, it's going to be completely dark and I mean, we could really easily get lost. Um, we didn't even have any phone service out there. We didn't have enough food or water or anything like that. We just like were not prepared. I think I was in like shorts and had like a little bit of a zip up jacket on. Anyways, so we're start we start to run. So we start to run down the mountain and we are like sprinting. And I don't think I've ever ran that fast on a trail in my entire life we started to get really nervous because it did get dark and we're running through the dark in the mountains in Estes Park and I know that there are mountain lions out there I know there are bear out there and I have recently been listening to all these like really creepy stories about all these national parks and people just 
missing and disappearing and the national parks are, you know, trying to cover it up or whatever. So I was like, we, th this could turn really bad really fast. And we're aware of that. So um, we are sprinting through the woods. It's dark and we are hoping that we're following the right trail. So um, we probably were running for, I would say another hour. And that was the hardest, like, <laughs> on a hike that I've ever ran in my entire life. So we were on the right path and we ended up getting to the very end of the trail, which is actually the trail head. And we see the parking lot and it's completely empty. And, you know, it's pitch dark and there's some porter potties like next to us and there's nobody there. So we are like, okay, um, we know that we had to take a bus like back to our cars and we don't even know what direction our car was at. So we knew that it was like a, I don't know, like 10 minute bus ride or something like that. So we didn't want to like be hiking on the road at night by ourselves, you know, two girls at the time we were in our early twenties and we had no phone service or anything. So we were getting pretty nervous and out of the porter potties come the guys the guys step out of the porter potties and we got scared we're like whoa oh my goodness we thought we were the only ones here and they're like oh no we're you know we missed the bus um the bus schedule like it the bus stopped running so uh where did you guys park and we're like um <laughs> i don't even know it's the main parking lot at estes park and they're like oh yeah we did too so anyways, we're sitting there with these guys. Thank goodness they were really nice guys. And um, this car pulls up and we thought, oh my goodness, we can ask if they can like give us a ride back to our cars. And I walk up to the lady and I was like, hey, um, we're totally stranded out here. Is there any way you could just give us like a ride back to our cars? That's just like the main parking lot in Estes Park. I think it's like 10 minutes away. And she looks at us and she was like, Nope, sorry, we're not going that way. And then she ignored us, went to the porter potty, and left. So we're sitting there for maybe another 10 or 15 minutes or so. And then this elderly couple, they pull into the parking lot in a truck and they get out to use the porter potty. And I walked up to the lady and I told her, you know, we're stranded. We uh we don't know which way our car is, but we do need to get back to the main SS Park parking lot and think goodness she said oh yeah no problem hop in the hop in the back of the truck we'll just take you guys up to your car so uh the four of us got in the car and we made it back to our cars very safely and the whole thing ended up working out but it could have been a really scary situation so I have learned um a few times on some hikes but especially on this one to definitely calculate the time. I know that sounds so obvious, but when you're out there and you're just enjoying life and you're just enjoying nature and you don't have, you're not really on your phone, it's so easy to just like lose track of time or, you know, whatever. So we should have turned back around way before the sunset, but long story short, that is the crazy story of my best friend and I almost getting stuck in the mountains of Estes Park. In the next video, I'm going to be talking about how I heard the voice of God. It is such a crazy story, so go ahead and watch the next video.